So let us adjourn next door. Oh, wait a minute, Rusty. What? It's not over till oh, the fat lady oh, sings. <laughs> <laughs> but, we couldn't, but we couldn't get any fat ladies. <laughs> the full-bodied women? I don't know. So we decided to take advantage of your absence. And since Frank is permanently attached to his video camera, <laughs> we decided to tape some tributes, which got longer and longer and longer. We'd be here till Tuesday if we showed them this evening. So we're going to be presenting you with that CD. And DVD. DVD. And um, I guess we're going to do two live ones, right? So to give you a trailer, and then there is going to be the grand finale number, which you'll hear on the DVD as well. So our, our and on And on the DVD, at the end of the tributes, are scenes from the last year and a half, services. Things like Renee Pyle's 97th birthday, you holding a baby and swaying while you read a four, four, fourfold Franciscan blessing, sitting on the, in the aisle, uh, singing Little Drummer Boy with the kids banging on the tambourine, being outside, greeting, Bishop Sisk up here, and you talking about how communion was open to everyone of all ages. So those follow the tributes on the DVD. It's a very special DVD. Frank's made copies of the DVD, which will be sold as a fundraiser, so anybody would like to get a copy. But anyways, we asked two people to do their tributes live, so you'll have a sense of what it was you saw and heard. And we're gonna start with two of your oldest friends, uh, Shirley and Pete, who will share what you'll see on the DVD. Uh, doesn't look like Shirley's up to them. She's having a meltdown. Okay. And, and, um, and then we'll follow with David, which will be a very appropriate ending before our those extra surprises. Rusty. Pete is representing us. It's been a privilege. It's been a great privilege. I'm going to divert a little bit. Our tribute on the CD was pretty spontaneous. We did rehearse it. And um, so I'm going to add a little bit. But I, but I think it's very interesting that the ending song tonight was had to do with growth. Because one of the things why it's been a privilege and something that I you know, and, and able to have that a lot of you have it, is I have seen Rusty grow, and I have seen his ministry grow. From the infancy, early ordination, his ordination, and then his ministry just flourish and flourish. I have seen a, a really amazing thing in his, in his ministry, is that he has taken talents that he had, that a lot of us don't have, but brought out those talents that you didn't really know you had. And I think what's standing right behind here is, is a tribute to the ministry of, of Rusty, is that he has brought together through his ministry you know, talents. And, and that's what the Bible asks us to do, right? Give talents. And we all have an opportunity to do that in the ministry of Rusty. And so it's been a privilege. I know we joke about this. It's been 30 years or close to it. However, it started, very offhanded comment, but I think it's been fabulous. Thank you. Of what they're calling rusty moments, but in my case, it's many moments. And they all have one thing in common, crisis. <laughs> There's 200 people in the back, really hungry, but the pool's not ready yet. <laughs> or there's a tent that's collapsing on, on people watching the theater or watching a play. Crisis, it, it, it happens. And, and, and as it's so quite pointed out, one of the talents that Rusty brought out in me was, well, you know those little breaks that St. Charms and people carry around that say WWJD or Jesus do? And this reminds people, in certain circumstances, what they should be doing or how they should project themselves under certain situations. 
Well, I'm going to lose control, and either, you know, circumstances will arise, crisis will happen, I'll bite my nails, and I'll scream bloody murder for an hour. But then Rusty's taught me that when that kind of happens, what I usually now do is I, 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 I say to myself, well, you know, what would Jesus do? That's a little bit lofty for me. I'm not sure I can attain that level. <laughs> but what I can do is say, WWRD. <laughs> 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 And the crisis is being solved, and, and, and the solutions are being come up with, but I'm staying in control. <laughs> and this is one thing that Brusk has, has taught me, and I, I think that the next time you're in a dilemma, or a crisis, and you want to raise your hands and shout, think, what would Rusty do? And then you think, oh, he would be calm, and we'll take care of things. And that's exactly what we do. We take care of things. Let's do this with DVDs. My goodness. And the extra for you to give out, and also a DVD of the Renaissance. I have the Christmas. box set. <laughs>